Hey, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for a while. Today we're taking a look at the new Gibson Kebmo 3.0, a 12 fret J45 that oozes blues. I'm gonna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name's Chris McKee, and I'm Cooper Greenberg, who's not here. Uh, <laughs> we're with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, comment on our videos, and if you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag, like the shirt that I'm wearing under this shirt, and also subscribe to our podcast. New episodes coming soon. That is the Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. I am solo today. Cooper is out on vacation and so sometimes you get him sometimes you get me sometimes you get us both but i'm excited to be playing today because this is a guitar i've been waiting for this is the new gibson kebmo 3.0 now why is it called 3.0 they've done a few uh signature models with kebmo in the past which i was also a big fan of i'm a i'm a big fan of kebmo period um, I really like his blues work. I like his albums. Uh, I play his album Oklahoma that came out in, I think, 2020, kind of on a standard rotation. Um, and so I was real excited when they announced this uh, because I like Kebmo, but also because of what the guitar is. So it's the 3.0 J45 12 fret, uh, which is a really cool version of the J45. Now I'm gonna walk you through the specs of what makes this different. My understanding is this is not a limited edition, this is part of the standard lineup now, which I'm excited for. That being said, if it follows the pattern of previous Kebmo models, it'll be around for a bit and then it'll be gone. And then your only hope, like me, is to peruse you know, eBay and Reverb looking for a used one from time to time, or going to alamomusic.com because we get some pretty cool used stuff in as well. So, uh, so don't sleep on this is what I'm saying. Very, very cool guitar. Let's talk about the specifications. So it is a J45. Now, that being said, it means it has a slope shoulder dreadnought shape or you know, the classic jumbo from Gibson. Um, it is still Sitka spruce and mahogany, as we've come to know and love on the J45, but they've done a few things kind of under the hood to make this the Kebmo model. Let's focus on the body first. So like I said, spruce and mahogany, but it's a thermally aged Sitka spruce top. Um, and so what that means is it's torrefaction. We've talked about that in context to other manufacturers on this channel before. The idea of thermal aging is to basically get the wood to open up to the effect that it would have over time anyway. Um, it's a fairly new process in the acoustic guitar world, maybe in the last 10 years or so, um, finding more and more uses. And what it does is it creates a top that's a lot more resonant and lively right out of the case without having to wait decades for to age. And on this guitar, it really works well. There's a lot of resonance in this guitar right out of the case, first strum, I dig it. The other thing, which is in the name of the guitar, is that it's a 12 fret. Now, what that means is that, yes, the neck joins the body at the 12th fret, but let's focus on what that does to the body. That moves the bridge down to a different position on the top, really more central to that lower bout, and that causes the top to move in a different way than it typically would. The bracing has to change to accommodate that as well. So it has your standard scalloped spruce bracing that you typically find in a J45, but modified in effect because of the 12th fret neck. The sound that you get is a warmer sound that is indicative of 12 fret guitars and you typically wouldn't find it on a 14 fret guitar, regardless of any other construction with tone woods or otherwise. So I really like that. And the, the scale length on this is really nice. It's a 25 inch scale length. So let's go up from the, the body now where we have this bridge. It's a drop belly bridge with a drop and saddle. We're moving up the 25 inch scale length to the neck. The neck of course is a mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard, pretty typical of Gibson. Um, but the neck profile is different. It's called a like a Kebmo custom profile. So they don't really say much more than that. But what I'll tell you is it's it's a little chunky, but not too much. And it's got a V, but it's a very, very soft V. Um, what that means is 
to me, it really fits the palm of my hand very, very well. In fact, what it does is it kind of encourages this. It encourages that over the top thumb playing or, where you can get that like low F sharp on a D uh, with F, uh, D over F sharp chord or, or something like that. Or as you're moving up, you can kind of hit those bass notes with your thumb because the, the carve of the neck really encourages it. I find it extremely comfortable. Um, so if you, if you hear like chunky and V and you kind of shy away, I'm saying don't do that. This is a really, really comfortable neck. I'm also finding over time, this is separate from this guitar, some people gravitate to the idea of a thin neck. Listen, you want it to be comfortable in your hand. And unless you're playing kind of thumb on the back all of the time, a thin neck actually might not suit your purposes. So make sure that you're getting in and trying out different necks on guitars and stores. I used to be a thin neck guy, and then I picked up, uh, it was like a 52 Tele with a big chunky neck, and I loved it. And more and more of my guitars have been uh, joining my collection with thicker necks. So trust me, Experience over reading specifications is an important thing. Get yourself into a guitar store. Let's go up here. Typical Gibson crown and logo inlaid in mop or mother of pearl. And we've got these really nice open gear tuners on the back. And these are Grovers. And I have to start holding them out there in order to see if you know. You know. Now, this is an acoustic electric guitar. It comes with a Bags VTC pickup system in it. And if you're not familiar with that, it's a very simplistic but great sounding pickup from LR Bags, which I'm a big fan of. The um, construction is basically an under saddle pickup, a preamp in the end pin. So you've got your strap end pin down here at the bottom and you have controls for volume and tone right here in the sound hole, completely unobtrusive to the guitar, not marring in any way. And the nice thing about a system like this is if you ever wanted to switch to a different style of pickup, you can do so and you're not changing the structural integrity or makeup of the guitar at all. You're not left with holes from a preamp or anything like that. So I really like that a lot. So I'm gonna run this through its paces, really focusing on just kind of blue stuff on this guitar. I feel like that's what it's happy doing. That's where it sits. That's why it's a Kebmo model. So take a listen and see, uh, see about the tone with this combination of both the that Thermal EH Sitka, but that nice mid-range that we get from that mahogany back and sides and the open warmth of that 12 fret neck. Check it out.
So there you go. That's the new Gibson Kebmo 3.0 12 fret J45. It's $42.99 current street price. Now you want to check our website at alamomusic.com because that price is subject to change as many of us have become very familiar with over the last few years uh, since the uh, during the pandemic and post pandemic prices are kind of going crazy. I think this is a really good price though for a signature model of a really good guitar that's unique in Gibson's lineup. Of course, price is relative and it's all based upon perspective, but I dig this guitar. I would love to add this guitar to my collection. Uh, what else does the guitar come with? Okay, so you only get it in this finish, which is a vintage sunburst, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, it comes with a brown Gibson hard shell case, which if you're familiar with the lineup, that's typically what you would see in like the original collection versus a modern collection acoustic would have a black case. And it comes with all of the typical case candy that you'd expect from Gibson, humidipax, certificate of authenticity, things like that. Uh, for, again, as I said at the beginning, from my understanding, this is not a limited edition model. Uh, it is fairly new and fairly limited out in the public. There aren't very many of these around. So if you're interested in this model, you want to go to our website, which is alamomusic.com. You'll be able to read all the specifications that I covered and maybe a few that I didn't and see the photography of this guitar that we did. You can purchase this guitar um, through one of our people. You can't buy Gibson online from us currently. It's a whole thing. I'm not a fan of it, but it is what it is. So if you ever, not just our website, if you ever go to a uh, dealership's website and they carry Gibson and you can't add it to cart, buy from that dealer, just give them a call. It, basically there's a hierarchy that <laughs> we're not the cool kids, I suppose. So uh, you can buy uh, through our store or give us a call. You can even chat with someone on our website and those are live people, they're not bots, they're not AI. They're people that sit in chairs and help you uh, on the phone or over chat, uh, just like they help you if you come in the store and you need picks or strings. So they can answer any questions that you have about this guitar or any other Gibson guitar so that we can find the one to suit your needs. Maybe blue is not your thing. That's cool. We have other things for you. But if blues is your thing, this is one of the coolest acoustic guitars I've played when it comes to, you know, wanting to play those, those blue notes all over the fretboard. So check it out on our website. And if you are new to our channel and you like guitars, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, you like our videos and comment below. Tell me what you think about this guitar. And hey, here's a challenge. In the comments, tell me your favorite Keb Mo song. And if you're not familiar with Keb Mo, then I hope this video helps introduce you to his music. Go check it out. Uh, I'm a big fan, hopefully you will be too. So as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.